Hello guys, welcome to my channel, The Indo French Life. My name is Shraddha and I make videos about how expats can come to France or for like studies, jobs, yada yada. There are many videos on my channel you can see for a brief intro. So let's jump to this video. And this topic has been requested from a long time now. It's about how to apply and get a Chirpak scholarship. So it's a scholarship given by in government of India and uh, this is given to people who go for masters for level one and level two. So the scholarship is given for masters students and uh, there are a lot of benefits which you will get through this scholarship. I'll dive into it. Uh, you can get a monthly living allowance of up to 700 euros, tuition fee waiver of up to 5000 euros, assistance to find affordable student accommodation. Yes, I'm reading all this in the website, but again, it is what it is, and the most I think the most accurate information you can find is on Campus France website. You know, I say this that uh, believe on this, rely on this website, rely on Campus France and the colleges you apply to and do not listen to other people. You know, if it is like that, do not even trust me when I'm saying this because honestly, it has been a while I have done the application and stuff. I didn't even know about the scholarship in the first place. I got to know after like six months of coming over here. <laughs> I came in a haste, in a sort of a haste. So anyway, uh, people will tell you things about the scholarship like I got this, he got this and you'll be confused like what is the actual thing? So I'll tell you what's the difference. Uh, some people get partial scholarships, some people get full scholarship but whatever benefit you will get from the scholarship is individual basis. It's not like you did this, you applied this, so everyone is getting the same thing. No. It can be different. I know a friend who got like a bit of a tuition fee waiver. Uh, I know a friend who got a monthly allowance plus a more economical residential uh, allo allotment and uh, the other visa waivers and uh, they even get a counsellor who will look into their file personally. But again, it is different. It's not like everyone will get the counsellor. I talked to a few friends. So it is what their experience was. Coming back to the eligibility criteria. It's, it's again a long list. You have to be an Indian resident. You have to be someone under 30 years of old, uh, 30 years of age. And uh, the other criteria is about your previous education or the current education. And like, I'll tell you the level. M1 is the first year of masters. M2 is the second year of masters and uh, this is given for a 10 month tenure so I'll link it down below for you people to read uh, the selection procedure now again there, there are things which the campus, uh, campus France website says over here now there are uh, rumors about the marks they look for like I really heard about it. There were some people like, oh Shraddha, you need 75% in bachelors. But again, it is not marks based entirely. The list of documents which you have to submit in the application. The list is again in the link which I've given you in the description box. Uh, you have to give an essay and all of that also makes a difference on how good and how strong the scholarship is. Plus, if you get rejected from the scholarship, don't take it at heart because it's difficult to get it and few people get it. It's not like anyone who applies can get it. And it's absolutely in in the authorities' hand. It's, it's, no one can really decide for it and they won't even give you an explanation why your application got rejected. Another detail about this application is the timeline. Uh, for this year, I think it has already passed. It was in April uh, But check the website about when it's gonna happen next contact campus France personally about how you can apply if you're having your spring intake Like in India we have intake after like July That's when the year starts but over here 
we have a spring intake, we have fall intake. Like I was in spring intake, I came here in January. So uh, talk to them about the timeline and uh, be on time, submit it on time. The other thing is make sure you have given all the documents mentioned in the list. Do not make an incomplete application for this scholarship. Uh, do 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 read the required documents and like cross check it twice if you want write a good statement of purpose like it should it should tell why you want to come here and keep it all well worded it is a medium letter I think it's like a 20 foot to 250 words letter it's given in the link uh, so I think that's about it for the Chirkup Chirpak scholarship uh apart from chapak i have also made a scholarship video link right here am i right yeah link is right here and uh see through other scholarships if they are applicable on you and again it's it's a very good scholarship if you get it but if you don't get it ask your university ask them if they give scholarship at semesters or on years it can be again different on college basis so i have I've talked about all of it in my scholarship video please check that out so uh, this was about it for the chalpak scholarship video a uh, big shout out to my friend divyanshu sharma he gave me good information about how he got the scholarship and his experience with it and like after talking to two three friends i got to know like it can be so different and it only depends on the embassy it only depends on the embassy <laughs> and all the correct information is only with the embassy if you like this video then like this video comment on this video all your doubts because I've been seeing a lot of people who have been contacting me from the last two videos about whatever queries they had. I'll be more than open to helping people about this. I didn't have anyone when I came here, sort of. So I think I can make it better for the newcomers who are coming over here. So comment down below, share this video and subscribe to my channel The Indo French Life. There's a lot of content lined up for you. This week I even completed my niece vlog. It's coming up next. It's coming up next. <laughs> so is it coming up next? I mean in this week probably. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, stay safe.